So you've just done a clean install of a Linux distribution with a KDE or Qt based desktop on your computer. You go to install the latest version 5.20 version of ClamTK and it doesn't want to install. Or, well, it does install, but it doesn't want to work. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to make it work on KDE and Qt based desktops. It works just fine, or should work just fine, on GNOME based desktops because of the icon theme not being properly installed on KDE and, well, because it's not GNOME. It, the GNOME icon theme isn't, the full GNOME icon theme isn't installed on non-GNOME desktops. So today what we're going to do is we're going to install ClamTK 5.20 and the GNOME icon theme full. So what we have to do first is I have to go download um, ClamTK 5.20 because I just because of the magic of video editing, no actually not video editing, because of the magic of restore because of snapshots virtual machine snapshots I set a um, I set a snapshot in this virtual machine right before I installed clam uh, TK for the first time so I'm gonna be right back download the download clam TK and And I'll be right back. So I've installed, I've downloaded ClamTK, and uh, we can actually close this. So right here, I've got ClamTK. I've got the dev file uh, because this is Linux Mint. I'll be installing it from this. So we double click on the dev file. In the the there's an older version right here. It says an older version is available in the repositories or software channel. That one. I that one is a version 4 series of claim AV and because it's old I don't think that it would be a good idea to use that version because it's antivirus and you know you really shouldn't use an old version of antivirus uh, well it's just the interface but I don't think it worked that well uh, but this is newer, has bug fixes, performance improvements, whatever else. So we'll click on install package, type in my password. I hope you have a secure password on your computer. This is just a virtual machine, so I don't need a secure password. So now it's installing things, installing Clam TK. I don't know why Q, the Q app package installer interface for apt. I don't know why it goes sideways on the top. It makes no sense. And then it goes down. It's just strange. Now that we've got that installed, I'm going to open the task manager or on KDE. It's the KDE system monitor. Search for clam. See there, it has fresh clam running. I'm going to look for clam TK, run it, and see right here it's opening and it closes. And down, it's just open. I'm going to put it right here so you can see it. I have to click on it. See, it's spinning but it doesn't open it doesn't actually run see so it's not going to open um, so what we want to do is if you ever have a problem like this you want to run it in the terminal type in clam tk if a program never if a program um, doesn't launch 
it just doesn't run it just spins around on the down here and just never launches you want to run it in the terminal press enter and see what the output is and in here it says icon gtk new not present in theme at user share Perl 5 Perl 5 clam tk gui.pm line 282 now what we want to do is we want to do sudo apt no not apt zero apt get install gtk icon theme full enter type in my password and then it's going to start installing it automatically oh wait okay uh, what's it called synaptic starting it Yes, I know. Uh, Gnome icon theme full. Did I mistype that or something? Oh, it's Gnome. Oh, okay. Instead of GTK, it's Gnome. There we go. And now it's going to install. I can close that it's going to install automatically because it's under a certain size apt will install packages automatically if they're under a certain size so that's kind of a that's kind of strange because what if I don't want to install a package what if I just want to see what the package is you know it's just kind of a strange thing uh... Ooh. clam tk enter and boom it's open so now we can scan desktop clamp tk no threats found I mean I have to update it but I don't want to really um, so that's that's how to fix clamp tk and it works here to actually uh, See, clam tk. There we go. It's running. So, if this video helped out, or if this video helped you, uh, please leave in the comments section down below um, how it helped you. And um, I'd like feedback on this, please. So, um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.